All right, treatment option one, you got a kid with peg laterals, they come in. Okay, you say, let's do some orthodontics and let's restore the tooth. All right, most, most people will be fine with that. Parents sort of understand that. This is typically what I see with orthodontists in my community. Unfortunately, they're gonna move the tooth to fit to the incisal edge because that's what orthodontists are trained to do is get the teeth at the incisal edge. And they're gonna close the gap between, um, they wanna move the space to the distal because they wanna hide the space on the mesial. And it'll be like that. Anyone ever see cases like that? You can't restore them appropriate because when you restore them, they're gonna look ridiculous. So option number one is orthodontically, I wanna move the tooth up, level the gingival margins. And if the patient says, or the parent says, we're not gonna do the gum work, then we can restore them. But we can't restore just one tooth. Very often we're gonna to have to restore two teeth or even add the central incisors so that we don't have the lateral incisor looking too big. This is a case where I thought the patient would look better if we did some aesthetic crown lengthening. They said, no, we positioned the lateral incisor to get it at around the CEJ of the other teeth. And then we use freehand bonding to build up the lateral incisor, add to the canine on the mesial, add to the central incisor on the distal to split the space. So we could at least get a proportion where the lateral incisor is not wider than it is tall. All right, option number two. We could do orthodontics and then we could do the aesthetic crown lengthening and then we could restore it. And I'm gonna tell you, don't do this option. Option one is better than doing this because I'll show you why. Let's say you go ahead and you do the orthodontics and get the tooth moved where you want it. And they say, you know what? We'll do the gum surgery after we get the tooth in place. So here's a problem. We got the gingival le margins leveled out. We got our peg lateral. And then we're going to go ahead. The question is, do we intrude the tooth enough? I don't know because we can't see where the CEJ is. So now we're gonna do our, crown, our aesthetic crown lengthening. And this is how it finishes when we do our aesthetic crown lengthening. We have prop, appropriate sized teeth, everything except for the peg lateral. And then when we go to restore the peg lateral, because this would be a, an aesthetic crown lengthening case, if we were going to um, raise this to get it at the full level, we'd have to go onto the root. And it would look like that. And all of us know we don't want to restore these teeth on the roots, right? Our, our restorative success is going to be way lower. So we have to keep our soft tissue in an appropriate place. And when we restore it, we're going to have one tooth that looks out of alignment. It's going to look silly. So I would tell you, this is a bad option. Doing this set of crown lengthening when orthodontics is completed is a bad option because you just don't know how long this tooth is gonna be, where the CEJ is gonna be. So this is a treatment that I prefer, and this is what I recommend to patients. Some accept it, some do not. We wanna go through the first phase of ortho. Let's get the teeth lined up, then do the aesthetic crown lengthening. Now we see here's the CEJ, we have a discrepancy. So let's finish the ortho. Let's get the CEJs lined up, Keep on moving it until the CEJs are level. Now we can add to the lateral, add to the canine, add to the central if we need. And then we can make the teeth look natural. 